We're back in Vancouver once again, one of our favorite cities in Canada. And this place is home to a lot of really good restaurants. So in this video, we're gonna be focusing on some of the best restaurants you can find in downtown Vancouver, most of which are walking distance from most of the top hotels. And we're gonna be focused on everything from more or less like budget cuisine, like ramen, all the way up to upscale restaurants. I just wanna say that even the rice is so good. This is definitely a different experience <laughs> coming to these nice restaurants with babies. So definitely if you wanna learn about some of the best restaurants in Vancouver, keep watching this video. And if you wanna learn more about Canada, you should definitely subscribe to our channel. Check out our website at mustdocanada.com. And if you have any comments you wanna leave us, make sure you leave them. We always respond to everyone. You gotta watch for this guy. He will drink this ones like water. <laughs> this is a... Uh... Incredibly delicious, for sure. Oh my God, he used that word, incredibly. To kick things off, we're here at Marilachi Ramen in the West End, which is one of the most popular places in the city to get ramen. They actually have several different locations, but this is their original one, so we wanted to come here. We can't wait to eat because not only do we love ramen, we literally just landed an hour ago, so we are really hungry. Uh, they actually have a seasonal menu all year long, but we went with what they recommended, which is their tamago ramen, which is their signature dish, and the aka ramen, which has a rich flavor with grounded nuts and chili. And of course, we had to go with some smoked edamame to start with because we love edamame. Even though we're sharing, I'm gonna first try the tamago ramen, and I went with a mild version, because even though I'm Mexican, I don't usually eat very spicy food. And it's so cute because they brought some like cup for the baby. And I was like, oh, this looks like baby forks and knives, but they are for the babies. <laughs> but I don't think they can try this yet. So we'll see. Oh, I love the soft egg, but I'm just gonna try the broth. Oh, it's pretty good. It's not spicy at all. Of course, it's a little bit salty, but it's good. Um, now the noodles. I wonder what is this? Uh, uh, it is like fishy, like I think it's some kind of seaweed. Uh, I don't know if I can try this right away. It's gonna be hot. Mm -hmm. good. And I'm going to be first sampling the Aka Ramen, which, like I said, is grounded nuts and chili. And it says here that they actually pioneered the chicken broth for ramen. It does have a, just a slight kick to it, which I love. It looks tasty. Ah, that's very good. I don't know how anyone can not like ramen. It's just such a, such a good dish. This has like the perfect amount of salt. It's delicious, it's not that expensive, it's filling. It's the spot. This dish comes with pork and it doesn't usually come with an egg, but I added one because, I don't know, to me like ramen's not the same without a soft, soft egg. It's just part of the dish. Even though both are very good, I will Choose the Aka ramen over the tamago ramen just because it has more flavor. And they were actually mentioning that it's made with five or six different kind of nuts. And it's not that spicy, so it's very, very tasty. Well, now we've taken things up a notch and we're here at the Botanist inside the Fairmont Pacific Rim Hotel. This place has actually been ranked as one of the top 100 restaurants in Canada and the bar is one of the top cocktail restaurants in all of Canada as well. So I think we're in for a real treat here. We've already started off with ordering our appetizers. We got the Wagyu beef carpaccio, which comes from Alberta. But what's interesting is what they put in it. So like he explained to us, it's called the Botanist because they like to bring flavors from the earth. And our grilled octopus comes with green mole, pumpkin seeds, the pan-seared scallops come with fermented jalapeno, green apple, and then of course the uh, wagyu beef comes with salsa verde, 
pickled vegetables and onion aioli. And then of course, I had to get one of their fancy drinks as well. It's very good. But I'm more excited to try the food right now. This is definitely a different experience <laughs> coming to these nice restaurants with babies because now they want to touch everything, eh, Sofia? Oh yeah, it's really good flavors, and I love that they like seared the outside of the scallop just, just perfect, so it just has that slight crispiness. And now I'm trying the grilled octopus, and it's really interesting because it comes with a green mole. And we've been having our fair share of mole lately because we just made a video about the best Mexican restaurants in Calgary. Now I get to try it in a totally different way. It's really good. I don't know how they get the octopus so like, kind of like tender and chewy, but not rubbery, which can easily be done with octopus. Since all the dishes we order are seafood, it's nice to have a little bit of beef. <laughs> and I love carpaccio, and this is wagyu. Wagyu? That's how you say? Wagyu. 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 Well, anyway. And um, it looks good. And it comes with some chicharron as well. Mmm. Mmm. I'm very excited about the mains because they look delicious. And I'm gonna start with the lobster. And the best part about it is that it comes deconstructed. So it comes on crispy coconut rice, a Thai chili, mushrooms, tom yum, and I can't wait. <laughs> Oh my god. Best lobster I've ever had. It, and you don't even seriously. usually like lobster that much. Huh? I know, but with the sauce and the coconut rice, like it gives it so much flavor. Mm, yummy. And we also ordered some side of beef on the side, which comes with um, walnuts and goat cheese. And we have become a big fans of uh, beets. So I'm sure that these ones are gonna be delicious. Oh my God. I love the, cr like the creaminess of the goat cheese and the crunchiness from the walnuts. Very good mix. I was so torn between the lobster and the black pepper crusted salmon, but since we both like to share, we get to try both. And I just feel like you gotta have salmon when you're on the west coast. Very good because it has that nice salmon flavor that you'd expect, but a nice like black peppery shell, a little bit of salt. Very good. And if you've watched any of our other videos, you know I like cocktails and they've been very good here. This one even comes with uh, freshly foraged elderflower when you know you're at a good cocktail bar. You just got another one. Yes, and this is very me. <laughs> very Mexican because it's actually cactus keys. So you can find a lot of cactuses in Mexico. And this one is the prickly pear, which I didn't know that is the fruit that is underneath the cactus, something like that, as he mentioned. And it's very concentrated, so that's why it's bright and pink. And it looks so girly, I love it. It's pretty good, a little bit more on the sweeter side, but it's still very refreshing. Mm. Still, in honor of the name, the botanist, the dessert looks like stones. Oh, it's so cute. And I mean, our waiter describes every meal so good <laughs> that I won't be able to repeat it. But something that I learned today is that our black sesame is semifredo, which means that it's like half, half frozen, half ice cream, half... It's like in, in between mousse and ice cream. That. Anyway, and then we, we, we went with the um, miso milk chocolate mousse, which comes with a miso caramel. So let's see. It hurts to destroy this plate. If you're looking for a dessert that is not very sweet, this is... This is a dessert that you will like. I like sweeter stuff, but it's good. And I'm gonna sample the apple brown butter cake, which 
has sauteed apples with bourbon and demerara. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, that was a big bite, Matthew. Is it good? Did you try this one? The Not mousse? yet, so I can't compare, but this is uh, incredibly delicious for sure. Oh my god, he used that word incredibly. Yeah. I mean, whenever you hear like demerara and bourbon and apple all together. Okay, that's it, eh? Remember that half is mine, so slow down with the ice cream especially. I haven't had half yet. Now that I try both desserts, this is the winner. Oh my God, it's so good. Like Matthew said, incredibly good. Seriously, mm. I love it. And your Earl Grey tea that you love so much at the Ferma, here it's a bit different. It is. And it's actually the Blue company tea. called Tea Leaves, isn't it? Yeah. Based from Vancouver and served in most Michelin restaurants. Exactly, and it's very good. So I've always tried El Grey at the Fermo Hotel, and I always say that it's the best El Grey tea you can ever have. It's very good. Well, for our next restaurant, we are here at Sorderos restaurant which has an awesome location. We're right at the waterfront, pretty much at the beginning of a Stanley Park. So you have beautiful views of the marina. And so far, we're gonna start with a tuna tataki, because I love, love tuna. And this one comes with edamame, as well as uh, avocado. Very good, obviamente. And I also got a soup of the day, which is Cream of tomato with some goat cheese. So I'm hoping that the babies will like this. Mm, it's yummy. We're not quite sure if she should try tuna tataki yet, but Emma's ready to try edamame beans. Huh? Mmm. <laughs> Very fancy baby food. <laughs> Well, I guess our babies really like tomato soup made of goat cheese. <laughs> so fancy. I think we're getting them started too young, Carla. It's gonna be expensive. Hopefully they don't get too strict with mama's cooking. <laughs> because your mom is not very good in the kitchen. All right, we finally have our main courses. Carla ended up going with a Buddha bowl. She really loves bowls. And this one looks delicious. It's got hummus, avocado, beets, kale. I think I even see sweet potato. And I went with the fresh catch of the day because this is fresh wild cut halibut and it comes with wok fried rice. And since we're right on the sea, I thought, why not? It's, it's, it's always interesting because my dad used to be a fisherman way, way back in the day. And he said back then it was only about cod over at Newfoundland and they would throw halibut away. And now halibut is uh, one of Everywhere. the most popular fishes and very expensive. <laughs> I love the butter sauce. Very good. I, I think I mentioned that I ordered from the seasonal menu. It changes every day. I got the halibut because it was fresh caught. But another thing that was on there was coconut cream pie, which sounds delicious. And we're going to give some to the babies. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I have to see their reaction. We're not going to give them much because we're not really introducing them to this much sugar. But. Sophia. They're going to be dancing off the wall. I know. I think I found my happy place. As you can see, they have some pretty fancy cocktails here. And that's because we're at Noah's Cafe, a Japanese fusion bistro and cocktail bar, where they're known not only for their food, but also for their cocktails. This one's actually called the Japanese Greyhound. And it came with that dome of smoke on top of it, but it's kind of like a vodka-based grapefruit-style drink. Carlo's got another one that has egg whites and gin. 
also looks delicious, but they just brought us our two first appetizers, one of which is cheese tofu. So it's got like tofu texture, but it's made out of cheese. And look at this, charcoal powdered uh, focaccia bread to dip with, and then a Wagyu beef tartare. Looks so good. This is actually a mix of cheeses and it has some like maple syrup as well as honey and a mix of nuts. Very good. And it does really have that texture of tofu. Okay, so I already tried my drink, which is called the Killer Beast. So it's a gin-based drink and it's very good. Not very sweet, very refreshing. It also has some lavender, honey and egg white. And the Wagyu beef tartare looks like a moon and it has a, 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 an egg yolk here. Oh my god, that's so good. I always know a restaurant is good when they have good Brussels sprouts because I don't usually like Brussels sprouts, but these ones have a truffle sweet ginger soy on them. Very good. Well, I must say that this is my kind of restaurant. Not only do I love Jap Japanese infused or fusion restaurants, because, I mean, I just love that food. I love that you can order like different small plates, so you get a chance to try different flavors. And also the drinks are like so good. Now it's time to have some oysters. They're also here from BC. And also look at it, like all the dishes are like beautifully decorated. So let's see. I know maybe with a fork. I, wa I was gonna slurp at them. Oh, I have Sofia just beside me. Oh my God, they're so good. So, so, so good. And I'm usually not a big fan of oysters, but these ones are very good. It says here that it has some Chili ponsu and horseradish wasabi. Very, very good. Now we get to move on to the blackened sable fish fritter. I've definitely never seen fish quite like this before. It looks almost like a lava rock, the way it comes out, but how they describe it is um, maple soy marinated spiced sable fish, charcoal battered fritter with herb ash and house tartar sauce. So they make their tartar sauce in-house. So probably squeeze some lemon first. <laughs> It's like a fancy fish and chips with a hint of charcoal. Am I just looking like, what is this? Well, now we're moving on to dessert, and we've tried a lot of cheesecake in our lifetimes, but I've never heard of chestnut cheesecake, and this one comes with Earl Grey ice cream and amaretto foam. That's nice. It's got like a nice texture, but it's not like, not sweet at all. You taste the cheesecake, but it's just like, the flavors are very subtle. I like it. I'm so curious about this dessert. But the cheesecake has a different texture, like very spongy. Yeah. Mmm. Super good. And then the Earl Grey ice cream, since I love Earl Grey. So good as well. Matthew, we're gonna come back to this restaurant when we're back in Vancouver. But without baby. <laughs> because it's becoming way more difficult to enjoy like such a nice place like this one because it, yeah. I mean they're tired and everything. They've been acting up a bit more tonight. Now they're quiet because we gave them milk. restaurant we're here at jungle room which is the first jungle inspired restaurant and cocktail bar here in vancouver and i must say that it's awesome there's plants everywhere it's very very pretty restaurant and this is a very special dinner because we have our mothers with us my mom just flew in from mexico city and matthew's mom is here as well say hi hi so this is very special and i can wait to to, to try everything in the restaurant is so nice.
So some of the food has arrived now and uh, I'm really looking forward to this because through all our travels, some of the food we've loved along the way is Indonesian and Japanese food and this is elevated Indonesian and Japanese street food. So we're starting off with beef tartare, Hokkaido scallops and oysters. I actually remember these from Indonesia. These kind of chips. <laughs> It's very good. You really see because it, it has like a fish sauce and toasted cashews and egg yolk. So it's a really good combination. And just a little bit of a kick. Now it's my turn to try the oysters. And it comes with a bunch of things. Um, some of them are horseradish, lemon, Tabasco. And then this. I don't know what is this. I mean, there's other ingredients, but... I think that's I mean, the horse or something. Oh, this is the horse. Okay. Oh my God. They taste amazing. I'm not a big fan of oysters because of the texture. But just with a few ingredients that I put on, they're so good. Doesn't matter the texture. <laughs> you might as well try the uh, scallops because I know you love those. Okay. And the scallops. It's called Hokkaido scallop, which comes with a spiced coconut broth, cilantro, and lime oil, pickled mustard and chili, and toasted coconut. Very good, it's amazing. So my mom has never tried oysters before because of the texture. Good? Good. <laughs> Well, I'm happy we found ourselves at another cocktail bar because they have some very fancy cocktails on the menu. We actually ordered four different ones, but the one I went with is called the Mexican Sunset because I love tequila. And this one has a uh, hibiscus punch, pulparindo cordial, candy, Thai chili, and lime. It sounds like it's going to have some spice. It looks as spicy. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. I love tequila drinks lately because they're just like so refreshing. It's very good, and it has that little kick that I really love in drinks. Here's is the whiskey smash. The whiskey? Mm. Very good. Now we got some dumplings, and these ones are made made of prawn and truffle with a lobster laxa broth, as well as a scallion. Oh, the broth is kind of like thick. Oh my God. This is so good. Oh my god, good? Very good. Mm. Now I get to be the first one to try the Agadashi tofu. It's really it's like the perfect texture. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. It has definitely a very strong like soy flavor, which I like. So far everything here has been really, really good. As you can tell, we're all sharing, so that's a good thing because we get to try everything because it's so unique. So we're actually getting some rice cakes here, which is made with spicy sesame sauce, chili crunch, peas, edamame, corn, and wasabi pea crumble. So I wonder if it's spicy because of the wasabi. It looks like, like pasta. It is spicy, but not... Not too much, but I think you can catch up. <laughs> but it's pretty good. It actually, it, the texture is like a dense pasta. And this one is the pork belly, which it has some chicharron, like it's crispy pork skin. That's usually my favorite, the pork belly. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've seen this like in so many dishes lately, as well as Sambal mata, which I don't know what it is. <laughs> no, sambal mata. Oh. And cabbage wrap, which I also don't know what it is, just cabbage. Mm. Oh my God. It is so good. It is very, very good. And I'm going to be trying the beef rib, which comes with a coconut potato press and crispy rice and cucumber. That meal looks huge. That's a good... And it seems that it comes with scalloped potatoes at the bottom, no? Well, this is the coconut press potatoes. 
Oh. Uh, it's really good. I don't think I've ever tried potato with a coconut flavor before. It's very delicious. I must say that we're coming to the final stages of this meal and everything has been so delicious, so unique in flavor. It's really elevated cuisine and I mean, I just want to say that even the rice is so good. It has some coconut on it and it's delicious. Imagine how good the dessert's going to be. Mm. <laughs> Well, now we have three of their top desserts here. I'm going to be try trying the rose hip creme brulee. I love creme brulee, and this one's very different. Rose hip custard, ume sugar and gel, pisco shortbread, and lychee granita. And then the deeper and delicious is puffed rice, puffed rice dark chocolate, black sesame devil's food cake, pochicha milk chocolate buttercream, passion fruit caramel, and white coffee ice cream. Obviously, very fancy. Definitely not something you find on the streets of Indonesia. <laughs> But some of the flavors, right? Very good and very crunchy. And now the creme brulee. Oh wow, it's very good. I've never had anything like this that has like the taste of roses inside. And I'm gonna try the yuzu meringue tart. I'm not even gonna attempt to read ingredients because I don't understand half of them. And let's see how it tastes. <laughs> it's gonna be a big surprise. It's pretty good. It tastes like limey. The texture is like a like a cheesecake. It's, it's very good. For our last restaurant, we're going to be having breakfast this time, something we haven't featured yet. And although this place is not quite in downtown Vancouver, it's a fun place to get to because it's over on Granville Island, which means you can get there by a really short ferry ride. It's your first time on a boat. <laughs> we made it for breakfast at the Dockside restaurant inside the Granville Island Hotel. And it's a beautiful day. We have a beautiful view of the waterfront. And I'm so excited because breakfast is really my favorite meal of the day. And I ordered my Benedict eggs. These ones are called the Florentine Benedict, which comes with some spinach and sun-dried tomatoes. And they look delicious because every time that I have a chance to have Benedict, Benedict eggs, I take it because it's one of my favorite breakfasts. Very good. The eggs are cooked to perfection. I ordered them. I order the medium and they're nice and soft and everything, everything is so good. And we got for the babies a vegetarian omelette and they're enjoying it as well. <laughs> this has been like the best breakfast of the whole trip here in, in Vancouver, so really good. So good, right? <laughs> as you can tell, we're wearing our sunglasses inside because we're right in front of the big windows. And it's a very sunny day in Vancouver, but I went with the breakfast hash because it's just uh, something different. I usually get the eggs benedict, but this one kind of combines the best of both worlds because you still get the poached eggs and the holiday sauce, but you get it on crispy potatoes with country sausage, succulent beef marmalade, roasted fennel, artichoke hearts. And I really can't wait to dig in because we've been waiting a while because we had to feed the babies first. Oh, look at that cheese. Super good. <laughs> I love eggs benedict. Both of our moms went with the skillet, which was a second option for me as well, and that's two eggs skillet poached to perfection with house-made tomato sauce, spicy salami calabrese, cured capicola ham, roasted fennel and artichokes, and a side of toast. And it also looks really delicious. I'm probably going to try it, actually. Is it one of the be best eggs benedict you've had? It's pretty good. I've never tried like this before with the spinach and some dried tomatoes, and it's very, very good. And I've never had a breakfast hash that combines holidays with a beef marmalade. It's like such a good flavor, combining the beef and the egg and the potatoes and the sausage. It's great. Uh, we're very full. Yes, point. but I don't <laughs> feel bad from all that food we ate because we walk a lot as well. Yeah, that's the one nice thing about Vancouver. We really love it because it's such a walkable city. You can walk almost everywhere you need to go and there's always so much liveliness to it. Right? I know and also the cool thing is that there's so much vari variety of food 
that you can have like very budget friendly food as well as high elevated cuisine. Yeah, and it's uh, as you can probably tell in this video, it's very there's a lot of Asian influenced restaurants here, which we love because that's pretty much our favorite cuisine yes. of, of all of them. So we could definitely probably live in Vancouver if it wasn't so expensive. I know, <laughs> and we enjoy it so much. It's very hard to pick a favorite because <clears throat> also like all the meals are like quite different. And we wish that we can come back to some of them just ourselves because it was very hard with babies, especially <laughs> like at dinner time, but when they're getting cranky and tired. And just like the atmosphere is also like perfect for a date or something like yeah, that. The videos are definitely getting more challenging, but we're done now. We'd love to hear from you. Did you like this video? Do you want to try any of these restaurants? If you've been to Vancouver or live here, we'd love to hear your recommendations of other restaurants we should try next time we come. And other than that, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel to learn more about Canada, or visit our website at mustdocanada.com. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Sayonara!